Hello, my name is Matthew Pfeiffer with MattPfeifferCoaching.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I create videos and content about toxic, narcissistically abusive relationships, self-development, emotional intelligence. And if you have a question that you want me to answer, make sure you send it to JustAskMatt at MattPfeifferCoaching.com. Again, that is JustAskMatt at MattPfeifferCoaching.com. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe notification and the bell notification so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. This video is also sponsored by BetterHelp, and if you feel like you need additional help outside of these videos, make sure you go down to the link below and schedule an appointment with an online therapist through BetterHelp. When you use the link down below, you'll get 15% off, so make sure you schedule an appointment and take care of your mental health and make sure that you learn about self-awareness. With all that being said, let's get into today's video. So today's video comes from a person who is saying that they're struggling with nice girl syndrome. And oftentimes people will say things like i have nice girl syndrome i have nice guy syndrome you hear this a lot from men um, saying that they're a nice guy right and what we have to understand about nice girl or nice guy syndrome we have to call it what it actually is codependency and people pleasing behavior oftentimes we allow for people who are struggling with something to kind of sugarcoat things and it's very common with people who our codependent and people pleasers to be able to say these things, uh, not realizing that their behavior actually can come across as very toxic. So let's get into this email and let's break this down for this person. So uh, not only this person can get some help, but also anyone else who might be struggling along the same lines can get some help as well. So this email reads, hey, Matt, I've struggled with nice girl syndrome and I've been working on changing it because I have noticed that the effect that it has on my relationship. So very, very good. And that's what self-awareness does, right? We start to realize and we start to identify our own bad behavior that we are bringing into relationships. So good for you for identifying it. Uh, people begin to take me for granted and start to lean back, meaning that they start to pull back and not put forth the effort. I am now in a new relationship that doesn't give me the, give me any red flags, but I feel like my nice girl syndrome has thrown the balance off and I was giving more and possibly made things too easy slash boring. My partner even said that he feels like I hold back and I am nice. How can I continue to change this dynamic? I'm also not sure when it's the right time to set boundaries or to speak up for my needs. So let's start backwards. Let's start out with that last sentence. When is it the right time to set boundaries and to speak up for your needs? All the time, every fucking day, that's when. We have to understand that boundaries are the core essence of who you are as a person. So we need to be very aware of our limits, very aware of our boundaries. And to be perfectly honest with you, that's the problem here. That's the issue with people, with both men and women, when guys say that nice guy and men who say something like nice girl syndrome. The problem is that oftentimes they think that you being nice is the issue. That's not the issue. It's perfectly fine to be nice, but we also have to understand that there's a balance. And what that balance is, is your boundaries. Everybody has limits. And one of the things that happens is that when you don't have that balance and you don't understand boundaries and you don't understand when to set those boundaries and how to set those boundaries, when to enforce them and how to be more authentic to yourself and to your needs, what happens is that it puts a target on your back for people who are toxic and narcissistic, which it sounds like you've had experiences like that in the past. Now you're with a partner that sounds like at least so far is healthier, but the problem is is that because you are not setting any boundaries, and this is the real actual problem with nice guys and nice girls, and let's let's throw that term out for the rest of this video. Let's call it what it is, people-pleasing behavior. What happens when you're not being authentic is that you're showing that you're not being authentic, you're not being true to yourself. It comes across as being fake comes across as being manipulative. It comes across just the way that your partner mentioned that you're holding back, that there's more to this. There's more to you that you're just agreeing. You're just saying things just to not rock the boat. 
One of the things, let's, let's kind of give an example when it comes to a healthy relationships. One of the things that I tell people about healthy relationships is that healthy relationships require disagreements. They all have disagreements, right? And toxic relationships, we start getting into disrespect, but that's not what we're talking about here. We need to understand that sometimes we need to be authentic. And yes, that might cause a, 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 some disagreements, but disagreements in that relationship are very, very healthy because it shows you and it tells you that that person is being authentic. They're being true. This person is getting the feeling, most likely, I have a feeling if I were talking to them, they're getting the feeling that you're not being authentic. You're not being true to yourself. You're not setting any boundaries, that, that you're just telling them the things that they want to hear. And those are, those are very common traits for people who struggle with people pleasing. Uh, a very good book that I would highly, highly recommend is Boundaries After a Pathological Relationship. Another book that I would highly recommend is Whole Again by Jackson McKenzie. And if you go to my recommended bookstore, both, both of those are available there. You can listen to it on Audible as long as you're listening to it, as long as you're understanding it. Uh, I think that it would be very helpful to you. But oftentimes people who struggle with people pleasing, they think that if they rock the boat, if they speak up, if they are authentic to that partner, that you're going to run them off, that it's going to cause a problem. Even if it did, that's a good thing, not a bad thing, because that means that they wouldn't be, they, that, uh, that there's not enough compatibility. Your partner wants the authentic version of you. And I'm, and I'm, it sounds like it's kind of early. I'm not saying it's going to work out, but healthy people want authenticity, even if it means it's going to be some disagreement, because that those disagreements is actually where people learn how to meet each other's needs and learn how to compromise and learn how to meet in the middle. So thank you very much for writing in. Anyone else who has a question, make sure you send it to just ask Matt at mattpfeiffercoaching.com. Again, that is just ask Matt at mattpfeiffercoaching.com. If you need help beyond what this video has provided, make sure you guys go to the link below, schedule an appointment with BetterHelp. You can get connected with an online therapist of your choice. With all that being said, thank you very much. And I will talk to you in the next video. Mm-hmm.